Hello everybody, Crips here and yeah, thanks for joining me. So I'm going to show you how you can import your PSD files into Corel Video Studio. Now previously I did a video uh, using PaintShop Pro and stated that you couldn't do that, uh, import it into the layers and I'm now I'm going to show you that you can do it but not the same way. If that makes any sense at all, probably not. All right, let's go into Corel Video Studio, and what we're going to do is use our Boris filter to import our uh, Photoshop projects. So place the background footage onto your timeline, drop your filter on to your footage, double click, customs filter, and let's go straight into the interface. Let's ignore all that. So here we go. There's our footage here. So how we can do this is by basically using Boris to import our PSD project. All right, so let's go into our text track and go right over to the T because we're gonna go from text and we're gonna change it to another media source. And I'm gonna go for still image. And I'm gonna look for the project from Photoshop, which was MACD and double click. And there you go, there's little boy and the McDonald's logo. Now, right now it's still a flat image file and I need to convert this so I can have all the layers. To do that is very, very simple. Go to track go into convert to containers and voila now you see all the layers it looks like i even got an extra one so i get rid of that so from here now i can manipulate whatever i want uh, with each layer the same thing i showed you with uh, paintshop pro you can now do that also with photoshop the only difference is you have to do everything through the your boris filter because if i uh, apply the effect I don't have the layers here in my uh, my overlay tracks, no. But that's okay because even though I can't use these, unless I want to use it just on the main project, uh, even though I can't use this, Boris it comes up with amazing effects anyway. So I'm not really short on effects and filters and whatnot. Uh, if I go into filters here, I have all these plugins that I can work with. You know, distortions, color perspective, blurs, extrusions, effects, you, you name it, I can do it all just by using the Boris FX filters. So I'm not limited by any means. I can rotate in space, not whatnot. And I'll show you also uh, quick little shortcuts here. If I want to move this around, uh, you can go to preview here. I'll quickly show you preview. It's your open GL interactor. Basically it teaches you the shortcuts and how you can interact with your footage, okay? You can have a quick read, but I'll show you very quickly. G toggles it on and off. W is allows you to move the object in freehand. Okay, so left and right, up and down, whatever you wish to do with it. E, you can then rotate it. So if I go at the green ball at the top, I can spin it like so. And if I go for R, I can then rescale the project as well. There you go. If I don't like all that and I want to go back to default, I just press the letter R here in the corner and it puts everything back into my default. And that's how we can move the uh, project around into space. And then it's just a matter of applying the effects that you want to your Photoshop layers. And then just apply, and then you can probably come up with something as crappy as that. <laughs> All right, uh, my friends, I hope you learned something. Now stick around later on. Uh, I'm going to show you a lot more stuff you can do with Boris, uh, depth of field and so forth. But I just thought I'd show you how you can use Photoshop with your Corel video. And as always, thanks for watching.